Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm back with another Dying Light 2 video. So 2021 just started and in the first month itself, we have two leaks for Dying Light 2. Last week Dying Light 2 Collector's Edition was leaked online by a retailer and I have a separate video on that so if you're interested in that, link will be in the description. Now talking about the second leak, it's more interesting because this leak gives us a new release date for Dying Light 2. Now hold your horses, this is a leak so remember the first rule, take every leak with a grain of salt unless and until it's proven and confirmed by the devs. Also, let's try to solve the mystery behind this leak and see what's the truth. So this week, an Australian retailer named EB Games updated their listing for Dying Light 2, and there the release date was updated, which changed from to be confirmed 2021 to Tuesday 25th May 2021. Now, at first I thought it must be a placeholder date. I mean, it makes sense. But then I thought, why would anyone put a placeholder date like this? because I have only seen placeholder dates like December 2021 or December 31st, 2021, but they have never been this specific. Anyways, my second thought was this could be edited. So I checked the Wayback Machine and found that it was indeed updated. And people send me a lot of screenshots of the website taken from PC, phone or PlayStation 4. So final conclusion, the picture was not edited and it was legit. Now what makes this so suspicious is the fact that the retailer immediately changed the date back to to be confirmed 2021. This happened after the leak went viral on a forum. So I guess they must have messed up and leaked the actual release date by mistake. But like I said, we cannot fully trust it unless it's confirmed by the devs. According to the devs, this is a placeholder date, but maybe they're trying to cover it up. I mean, who knows the actual truth. Also to mention, the price you see here is more than the normal price and it's not the actual price because it's not decided yet, so it's a placeholder price. And no, no, please do not pre-order the game yet. It's not officially available for pre-order, so do not do that and wait for Techland to make an announcement. It's crazy how this leak comes right after the collector's edition leak. It looks like something big is coming and we need to be ready. Techland did promise us some new info about Dying Light 2 this year, so I'm expecting it's going to be soon if the leak release date is real. By the way, Resident Evil Village is also coming in May, so it's gonna be a crazy month if this leak turns out to be real. A point that I should mention is the fact that the people who are keeping track of all these leaks are actually the same person, so he or she is doing a great job keeping his or her eye open for these information. Now keep in mind that this listing could simply be a mistake because retailers have been known for the incorrect release date in the past. However, there is also a good chance that it could actually be real. I mean, Dying Light 2 was originally announced back in E3 2018 and has since been a heavy focus of Techland. And with the Collector's Edition leak, the developers giving us new info this year, the tease from the devs obviously, and now disappearing online, the whole leak, we could be in for an official confirmation very, very soon. Now the thing is, a lot of people are hyped and I will say, yeah, it's good if you're hyped, I'm hyped as well, but I'll wait for an official confirmation and honestly, I'm really, really hyped if the game is coming in May. Can't really wait to play Dying Light 2. Anyways, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content in the future. And by the way, I have another Dying Light 2 video coming out this week, so get ready. And do not pre-order Dying Light 2. Please don't do that. Wait for the official announcement. Wait for an official pre-order date. Then do that. I'll tell you personally, so don't worry about that. Thank you for watching. Good night and good luck.